Hey Capricorn, what's up? I hope you're all doing well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-September to the end of September 2021 and it is general. So not going to be everybody's situation, but you can check out one of your other signs if you want, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. And yeah, the roles can be reversed because this is general. So let's see, what is the overall energy for Capricorn for the second half of September? All right, and we have the sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. So this is all about the third eye chakra. So it could be that you are feeling super intuitive, possibly in tune um, with, with another person here that you are involved with or even just with your own self about a situation involving this other person. So let's see. For some of you, you could also be having very vivid dreams about this person. This person could be having vivid dreams about you. So let's see, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. situation we have the page of pentacles crossed by the four of wands recent past we have the five of wands near future we have the death card for you we have the nine of cups for them the page of wands for you the eight of cups for them the three of swords and the potential outcome here is judgment all right okay so Capricorn. I feel like somebody may have just been um, not giving much to this, or maybe you're not even really giving much to this connection. It, it's almost like it feels like there's just little interaction between the two of you at the moment, or just not, just not giving much to this, not not exerting much energy to this. And so I feel like because of that, it feels like the stability of the connection is a little bit shaky at the moment. Um, it's interesting though, because like I said, I feel like with the sixth chakra here, the third eye, like there's, there's like strong telepathy possibly between the two of you though, even though this is, this is the case um, at the moment. Um, in the recent past, there was some conflict, possibly other people also involved. Maybe there was arguments or just something not really working out between the two of you. Um, I feel like you are walking away. You are trying to find your own happiness here. You're trying to fill your own, your own cups. We'll see, but I, I definitely have the sense that you are trying to emotionally detach from this connection, or maybe you already have, or are in the process of doing so. You, the other person here is actually feeling the pain of that, all right, with that Three of Swords. I feel like this person wants to communicate with you with this Page of Wands here, um, possibly wanting a new start with you. We'll see more when we clarify. But it's interesting that for both of the um, future cards here, we have Major Arcana, which are both talking about major, major transitions. All right, death. So there is some kind of an ending that is coming up. Um, but then we have judgment, though, for the potential outcome here, which could talk about a rebirth or a resurrection of some sort. So let's see. Let's clarify. Let's see the Page of Pentacles with the Four of Wands. Right, the Five of Cups, the Hermit, and the Moon. All right, so yeah, we are having some major arcana showing up here, which does talk about um, major events in life overall, or major events in this connection, just um, or very intense feelings. So we do have Virgo, Pisces, as well as Scorpio showing up here. Um, definitely could be any sign, though. There's a lot of, somebody's feeling a lot of regret um, possibly even some guilt 
for something that may have happened in the past or something that might be currently happening. Again, it feels like there's there's some distance between the two of you, like there's just some silence. I feel like maybe the two of you don't even really know what is going on with each other. If there is some contact, because like I said, I mean, there might be some little bit of interaction in one way or another. I feel like for the most part, you, you really don't know what is going on with each other. So maybe this could be a lack of communication or a lack of clear communication. Let's see the Nine of Cups in your energy. And then this um, situational energy might make more sense as we go along, we'll see. So we have the Four of Pentacles and we have the Four of Swords. All right, so we have two fours here. We also have the four of wands, which is um, which was in the main situation here. So to me, fours are about stability, but definitely you can take that. However, it might resonate for you if this number is symbolic. It feels like you're you're holding back from this person as you are healing or as you are trying to recover from something. And as you do that, I feel like you're moving towards, like I said, filling your own cup trying to find some pleasure um, in your in your life. Does this mean that you are completely over this person or that you don't want them at all? No, I actually feel like there is a part of you that kind of still wishes that this could work or that this could have worked. But for the most part, I feel like you are kind of like stubbornly, <laughs> stubbornly healing stubbornly recovering like you're just really determined to find what it is that that you really want to find what it is that would actually make you happy it's just that there's a part of you that does wish that you could have had that with this person so let's see eight of cups because like i said you're you're moving away from this so i feel like you Alright, the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Alright, so what you're moving away from is that, that energy of this connection that was making you feel trapped to this person. And I feel like this is what has happened. You know, maybe you felt tied to this person for so long. For whatever reason, there was some kind of conflict that happened in the past. Um, and now it's like, like I said, it's like you are stubbornly determined to to heal from this and to recover from this as well as to find what it is that you truly want so this is you here is this queen of pentacles um fully nurturing yourself taking care of you finding what it is that you deserve improving your own sense of self-worth in order to um, move away from whatever it is that was keeping you stuck to this so very positive for you, although of course it's, it can't be easy. So let's see this page of wands for them. All right, we have the knight of wands and we have the page of cups. So two pages here plus a knight. Yeah, so this person, Definitely wanting to communicate. I feel like this person is feeling sorry. Like, like I said in the beginning with this um, Five of Cups, I feel like there's some guilt here. There's some regret possibly of um, not being stable. Like I said, I feel like the connection is not, or it wasn't very stable or, or it's still lacking that stability because somebody just wasn't able to either be completely committed or just wasn't able to give more. Um, this person may have either been in and out. Maybe there was some stepping outside of the of this connection. Whatever the case, I feel like this person is feeling apologetic or feels like they would want to communicate an apology to you. And it makes sense because they are feeling that pain at the moment. So I'm not justifying anything. I'm not justifying anyone. <laughs> 
just reading the energies. So let's see that Three of Swords. Ooh, all right, the King of Cups and the Emperor. This person is feeling hurt because they actually do have a lot of emotions for you. So I don't know what it is that happened, but this person is definitely feeling their emotions at the moment. Um, their emotions are all over the place, just feeling, feeling very hurt. And I do feel like this person does want to, oh, it's almost coming in like this person feels possessive over you. And it could be that they were actually portraying the exact opposite, right, in the past. And it's like now that you're walking away, they're, they're feeling a little bit possessive. They might not be showing it. They might not be showing it because, again, I feel like there's a lot here that is being hidden. I actually feel like, yeah, you know, what's being hidden here with this moon is how guilty this person feels or how bad this person feels for whatever it is that has happened. They're keeping it to themselves. They haven't communicated this yet, but I do see them wanting to. Wanting to kind of step up here. But let's see, because we have death in the near future. For which we have the Ace of Swords and the Tower. All right, so I actually feel like this this connection um, is something is ending here. Something is ending. You're moving away. It is creating an ending. Um, there's definitely definitely movement in that direction, and it is creating a lot of chaos for somebody. I do feel like it is your person having that Three of Swords here. I don't feel so much that it's creating. A tower moment for you. I feel like you are in that process of recovering and of healing and really stepping into your own power because you are detaching from this. You're breaking free for whatever from whatever was keeping you tied to this. And this is what is creating that tower moment for them because they're feeling the strong ending that you are bringing to this. So let's see, let's see judgment. The King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So yeah, you know, this person is definitely having this revelation um, of wanting to move from the Page of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles, right? Having this Ten of Cups, feeling that connection with you, wanting, wanting this connection with you. So it's like this huge, huge leap um, from the Page to the King which is coming after this ending, all right? So it's almost like the, there's like this rebirth or like this huge revelation that this person is having for whatever it was in the past, realizing that without you, there's like so much pain and that this is where they want to be. Now, it's really going to be up to you because I see you being pretty determined here at the moment at least. So it's going to be up to you, you know, what you want to do with this, but I see this person coming back, back in wanting to give more, give whatever it was that they were not able to give before and wanting this love with you, wanting to share that love with you. Very, very clear. I do get this indication that this person um, may have undergone a major transformation just because we have death, the tower, and judgment. Seems to be a theme, actually, for the earth signs this time around. But again, you know, it's going to be in your discernment. That's going to be your discernment to make what you want to do. All right, so Capricorn, if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And again, and I feel like you're, I feel like you kind of know. I feel like you kind of know or that you will be able to know because your, your third eye chakra is opening. And you are so much more in tune with what is really going on here. Or that is what is coming up for you. All right, so for the final message, we have navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. So yeah, follow your guidance. Follow your bliss. Follow your intuition. I feel like it's, it's actually peaking at the moment. So trust in your own self. 
during this process and during what it is that you are doing as well as if this opportunity comes back into the picture for you. Trust your own intuition for it. All right, Capricorn, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.